The humble abode. It's typically back here. On this nightless, nice little platform. I can't hop. You find a cot? Yeah, cot's back here. Carter gets to sleep in the shop while uh, I got to sleep in the house. Sorry, Carter. I stole your fan, bro. Nah, it's not okay. Just in case it's hot. That reminds me, I gotta do that before anything. Crack a bush? No, bro. My hard boiled eggs. I put them back in the container. I forgot the almonds though. It's three hard boiled eggs and some almonds. Breakfast. Mm. Breakfast champions. And I forgot salt and pepper. You got salt and pepper, buddy. But that'll be good. That'll be good. Oh, is this mayo in here? Mayonnaise. And I picked up like 12 tins of ch canned chicken. You just open a can, drain the juices, mix some mayo with it, and then slap it between two pieces of bread. Gas. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's been a while. Dustin's in Canada, so he's got plenty of videos. I'm not sure what the timeline is of this video being posted, but Dustin has a bunch of videos in Canada. I'm not sure if they're up yet or not. But we are out here at the farm and we're gonna do some goose hunting. I've been farming for two weeks and I have not hunted in two weeks, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. Yep, I had an abscess cyst and I had to get it cut out, four of them, on the booty. So, just imagine how much fun that was. But you know, you gotta put your health first, guys, because if you try to run yourself ragged, especially with what I had, you'll die. Infections. Literally? Literally, will yeah. die. I died anyway. But so what we got going on is I've got a couple feeds that we've been sitting on for a long time and it's time to hunt them. One's a 250, the other's a 200, and Carter found another 250 tonight. So we got some feeds to hunt. Minnesota early season, you can kill specks and snows, but North Dakota, you can't. And there's a little Rossi out in that field and I want to kill it because it's whitey. It's banded. Always kill Whitey. Well, yeah, based off of Dustin's ratios with the Rossies out there, I mean, we've never killed more than two bands in a hunt, and Dustin just crushed it with five. So, Dustin, good work. Colin and I are just a little sad. Sadly, Dustin was not filming that hunt. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for. A bit oh of it, shit, I forgot about that. They uh, they were running a traffic field. They were not expecting to even shoot anything and they ended up shooting like 60 birds or something and uh, five Rossi bands, so. So, this bag here, specifically labeled Molt. We got like four days of straight north wind. These are, I got like, I don't even know how many I set up, but I still got some more to set up. So basically, what you're doing with these these are the ones Al dropped, I believe, last year with Molt Gear. So it's uh, black and white on one side, and then you got an X14 on the other side. So basically what you're doing is you're gonna face the black side north. So as they're flying to you, they, these stick out like sore thumbs. Then when they're coming on the flip side decoying, it's a normal goose. Absolutely essential when chasing these Molt migrating geese. And also, dude, I hate these full lines. Look at these freshies. Fresh out the box. Fresh soldiers. Gonna get some blood on them. It is the next day and uh, we're hunting. We're hunting about a 400, 450 feet, I wanna say. Luke's field and uh, we do got some guys to our south, so I don't know if that's gonna help us. I think it is gonna help us, but we are gonna run 20 dozen silhouettes, Luke's decoys, and uh, we got a nice solid north wind today. So hopefully these birds wanna play, but it's about four o'clock, so we're gonna set up and I'll get back to you guys when we're done setting up. Yeah, pick it up. I'm gonna go park in the middle of that Hey, what you listening to, shooty? Do you guys want me to go park in the middle of that field? Start the track? 
this is the thing. Showing you some little small Motley Texas Looney Wheels. Some little Looney Wheels and little small Mama Burger on the bass from out of Culver Town. Then it's right gonna on. pull them on to sell them four miles up the North Road you know, on the paved mountain smell with corn stalk coming up the back of them. Oh wow. Uh, back there. Probably. Alright, we'll pick you up out there. Go park by the Looney Wheels. Alright. Before we hop into the hunt, we want to talk about these guns at G Force. They're a newer gun company and they're just starting to get into the waterfowl industry. This is the G Force one these actually aren't released yet and they'll be for sale for about 700 dollars haven't shot them yet so i'm pretty excited to see what they do but they do come with some pretty meaty choke tubes cue the music <laughs> so they come with three choke tubes i got the modified one in but they have improved cylinder and i think the other one's a full don't don't quote me on it luca got one of these sent to him as well and he used them for doves and he was absolutely feathering them so I'm pretty excited to use it honestly so we'll see you know first glance literally feels like a Benelli like shoulders like a Benelli we'll see if they hold up yeah they're coming at us still. they's coming right at us boys that's the line we want Oh, they're already getting prepared to do oh, their swing. Oh, there's a whole group behind the trees. Too. Let's shoot these four, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get ready. Go get closer. Now, yep, right in the front. Front right, front right. Flag a tiny bit. Nah. Ready? Hang on. Kill him! That one's dying. There we go, boys. All right, we gotta. Yep, we got more. We got. Look, we gotta get these fast as we can. <laughs> Kill him. That one's dying. Swinging hard. Where'd her wind go? Right side. They're trying to sit behind us. We got three behind us landed on it. Okay, they're gonna swing on the right side. One more flag. Right side. Killing them here. Should we? Yeah. Okay. That bird. Poked that last one. I got one. Debert. This big flock in front. Yeah. And there's two on the right. Yeah. These ones might do it. Kill him? Yep. Triple baby, let's go. Well, I think that's gonna wrap up the flights of this hunt. I'm not sure how many we're at. I think 14 or 15. Uh, Carter's still coming back with some, and he uh, just lost part of his note axe, so that's not good. We're gonna have to do some 
field searching uh, after the hunt's done here. But the first flocks that came in, we had a, a pretty, I wouldn't say a good wind, but we had some wind. And uh, as the flight kept going on, the wind just slowly kept going away. So at the end of the hunt here, we pretty much had no wind at all. And it was supposed to be 10 miles an hour all night. So, but uh, we'll get a word from Carter here once he gets back. Well, wrapping up the hunt here, getting Brooksy all watered up. It's still the hot time of the year. The skeeters are starting to come out still, but it is starting to feel like fall. All in all, it was a pretty good hunt. Hot and heavy though. We had like, I think 55 minutes of shooting time when the first flock came in here. And you know, we got a couple to play, a lot to not play. Shout out to Luke, BW Films. If you guys want to see this hunt on his channel, the link will be in the description. Also shout out to Luke for giving us permission to come out here and hunt with us hey on man. his feed. Hey man, I'm just returning the favor. We're gonna wrap this video up back at the house and Carter, he's gonna chef up some goose shish kebab. So we'll see you guys back at the Smack'em crib. <laughs> What'd you say? I said Chinese char siu barbecue duck, please, Tyro. Well, first, you gotta start off with these. Worcestershire sauce and a little bit of Italian dressing, a whole bottle of it. Then I'm gonna cut it into cubes and put seasonings, and then stab them with this thing. A skewer. A skewer. Anyways, you're just cutting these into whatever little skewer size pieces. Doesn't really matter. Unless you're weird about how si how big your bell pepper are for the skewers. Basically, you're just cutting them, cutting the insides out. Pretty basic. And what are you making? Dude, I don't even know how to say shish kish 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 kosh. What do we got here? Dude, just random stuff. Some random stuff Carter picked out. Garlic salt, garlic powder, Montreal steak seasoning, pepper, and uh, some sea salt. You eat goose enough, you tend to just experiment. Mm, 12. 12? You got a skewer? You got a skewer for peaches? You got a skewer for peaches? Hey, me? that's my cat. Yeah, when is Allie taking that thing? She's taking your cat? Well, I'm gone. Oh. Dude, I came home from it being home for like four days by itself. And Perfect. 135 internal. If you're wondering how I get that every time. El Prober. Glorious. I'm gonna use this whole And there's no BBs in this. Uh, for best results, let that goose marinate for like a day or so, then start munching on her. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This is just a, another quick, easy recipe to help eat through your birds. Try found the next one.